I'm Nia Malika Henderson here in Tampa in the Washington Post uh, workspace. And we've got five questions, five questions today with Brian Jones, who is a senior advisor to the Romney campaign. I want to get your impressions uh, yesterday, Chris Christie, that big speech, uh, the keynote. Uh, he didn't mention Romney, I think, until 16 minutes into that speech. I think he ended up mentioning his name seven times. What's your reaction to that? Any risk of being overshadowed there? No, I don't think so. I think your average person watches that speech, and, and they're not paying attention to the same way that someone from the campaign might or someone from the Washington Post might. I think they're looking at uh, Chris Christie talking about the problems that are facing the country and at how to actually fix them. And again, he did talk about the fact that Mitt Romney uh, will take the same approach, the same kind of leadership type approach that he took in New Jersey. So I think from that perspective, the takeaway is strong. Um, and look, uh, you know, Chris Christie is his own unique brand of, of politician, and he's one of those people where you, know, you really can't, you really, you know, you can contain him maybe a little bit, but you can't control him. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like a, yeah, it's like in football, right? Right, exactly. Um, Obviously, there's a storm. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess it's moved in, yep. in in New Orleans now. What are the sort of thinking about the optics of this storm happening, mm -hmm. as, as well as the, the speeches that are going on in here and some of the celebra celebrations? Sure, it's something the campaign's been talking about quite a bit, um, along with the convention folks and the RNC. Um, we've been getting regular weather updates over the course of the last week, uh, and now getting also updates from some of the um, uh, the government folks in, in, in Louisiana and, and kind of taking a very close eye or watching it very, very, very closely. And as we've said all along, our, our first thought are with the individuals who are in the path of the storm and how they might be impacted. We've also been in touch with the Red Cross. Uh, last night there was a Red Cross number and text that could be given. I think we'll be doing more of that tonight, talking about how to help the potential victims in, in the wake of the storm. And we're just monitoring the situation very, very closely. Is there a chance that Mitt Romney might go to the Gulf? You know, I, it's one of those things that people are talking about in the media. Um, you know, I think right now that the storm is still kind of in progress. Um, and I think that one of the things we wouldn't want to do is have Mitt Romney going in be, be a distraction for the first responders, for the people who are actually trying to help people in need if they're cut off from food or water. Um, and, and obviously, you know, given that he is the nominee, he has Secret Service with him. I, so I, I think that obviously at some point, um, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe he will go in, but no determinations have been made as to, as to how that's going to happen. But we are in touch with, you know, Governor Jindal's office and the other governors of the area. What do you think people need to come away with from Mitt Romney's big speech on Thursday? Mm -hmm. What will they come away with uh, knowing about Mitt Romney that they might not know right now? Well, I, I think, um, you know, when you look at where the country is right now, people, I think, still like President Obama quite a bit, but they're disappointed in his policies and they're disappointed in, um, you know, the result of some of those policies. I think for Mitt Romney, uh, this is a real opportunity to talk about who he is, what his plan will be for the middle class, and to do a little color, too, about who he is as an individual. Um, he's someone, you know, he said the other day, I am who I am, right? And, and I think Quoting that you... Quoting Popeye, you, you, I you, guess. You, yeah, that's right. right. You, 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 we can't, you know, he can't be someone that he's not, obviously, but I, I do think the convention gives an opportunity to speak directly to the American people. Um, you know, there'll be some videos, too, talking a little bit about him and, 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 and you know, what he's done over the course of his life, helping to fill in that biography piece a little bit more. And it's a real compelling piece. I mean, he's someone who's been successful almost at every stage of his life. And I think that whether you agree or disagree with Mitt Romney, you can't argue with the success that he's had. Um, in particular, being a turnaround artist, which is, you know, what many voters believe the country needs right now. One of the things I was mo most struck with uh, last night was the position of Condi Rice. She was essentially in the family box there watching the speech. How did that relationship come about? I mean, was you know, there a recording of Condoleezza Rice? Sure. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not overly familiar with all the specifics of it, but I know that she's someone who's been very helpful to the campaign. Um, you know, she's helped out, I believe, raising money. She's uh, someone who the governor has talked to in the past. I mean, the, the governor is someone who is a very intellectually curious person and, and enjoys speaking and engaging with people who he can kind of have a back and forth with. And obviously, she's someone who is, is unique and almost singular in her experience. And I, and I think he's someone he's, you know, she'll, he, he's spoken to and will speak to in the future, you know, about issues which she's, you know, familiar with. Could she possibly be in a cabinet if Mitt Romney is ill? Well, you know, I don't want to speculate on that at all, obviously. I mean, right now we have to focus on the next, you know, two, two and a half months. Um, but given her background and credentials, I mean, she's, again, she's a very unique person, has a lot of experience. Um, so who knows what the, what the future will hold in that regard. But certainly someone who is very capable and, and could be part of one, sure. Great. Thank you so much, Brian Jones, for Thanks being Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Here. Yeah, I right, appreciate it. Thank care. you.